Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this video is going to quickly show you a great new feature that's been added to Spryder. In this example, I've created an animation in which a UFO flies onto the screen over a cow and then abducts the cow and then flies off. Let's say I've created this entire animation with several objects and several keyframes and I decide after the fact that the UFO really should have been a bit higher. Uh, as you might already know, one way you could do that is to go to any of the keyframes, select the bone that controls the UFO in this case, move it up or down however you would like, either by clicking and dragging, or in my case I'm using the up arrow at the moment, and then you can right click on the object and choose copy selected item, uh, copy selected item property to all frames, and then you can see, you can pick the X, which is the horizontal position, Y, which is in this case what, would we, what we would want, which is the uh, vertical position. And then you can also do that with uh, the width, the height, the angle, the uh, alpha, which is how transparent or translucent it is. Uh, and then its uh, relative or absolute Z order have also been added recently. Um, but that would only be useful in cases like this simple animation I made where the UFO's height is exactly the same the entire time. So what if you've made a more complicated version of an animation where the height, angle, and so forth of the object change uh, from keyframe to keyframe? So how would you raise it up a certain number of pixels in every keyframe and then paste to that change without suddenly every keyframe having the object at the same exact height. So here's what you can do now. Find whichever keyframe, I'm using the one or the two key to go backward and forward between my frames, and find the keyframe that's most relevant to judging how high or low you should make the object. And so I'm picking this keyframe where the UFO is over the cow. I'm going to select the bone that controls the, uh, the UFO, but I haven't moved it yet, I've just selected it. Now I'm going to hold control and press U. Uh, and that basically has told Spryder that I'm going to make a change to this and I want the difference of the change to basically be uh, recorded or kept uh, track of. So now that I've pressed control U, I'm going to move the UFO upward, in this case I just did it with click and drag, so it might be moving it slightly horizontally as well, but that's not that important. So I'm going to raise it up to about here. And now that I've moved it in this one keyframe up higher, after having pressed Control U, I'm going to press Control I. So what that did is, if I moved it up 40 pixels, for example, it's going to find every keyframe of this bone and move it up 40 pixels. So even though it's still different in every keyframe, it's been moved up 40 pixels in every keyframe so that the change is uniform. And now we can preview the animation and see the entire animation basically for that UFO has been moved up however many pixels I moved it. So one quick little side note to wrap up this change to the animation. As you can see, the cow kind of stops before it should uh, because that's where the UFO's height used to be. So I can just go to that particular keyframe, of course, select the cow, and move that cow up however I might need to. There we go. And then go to the next frame, in which case the cow is still there, but in this case, transparent. Move that up as well. And we should have the perfect crime. The cow still moves there, but it's completely uh, transparent, so no one's going to see it. So now we've tweaked the entire animation, and the cow now goes appropriately, completely up into the ship. And one quick thought I had about the previous example with the simple version where the ship moves perfectly side to side and never changes its Y coordinate or its vertical position. Uh, keep in mind, this is a great way, if you do need or want to move an object perfectly from side to side or up and down, uh, this is a very fast way to do it that allows you to work very quickly and organically, where let's say I do want to move this object from here to here,
from one keyframe to the other uh, horizontally, but I don't want it to move at all vertically. Instead of using the actual Y coordinate and copying and pasting or anything like that after the fact, or trying to create guidelines for myself, it's really easy to just to just make that movement and then just go back to the keyframe uh, where it's definitely at the proper Y coordinate and then just choose copy selected item property to all frames and in this case choose Y because that's what we want to be consistent across the whole thing. So just another good thing to keep in mind. And that's it for this uh, video. Thanks very much for watching.